Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you how I created this maple leaf for my Canada Day nails. I've gone ahead and cured two layers of Lovey Dovey polish to my nail stick, and I'm gonna use Ladybug Rouge to create the leaf. I've gone ahead and placed a dot of that on my silicone mat. I'm using my medium striping brush from my Gel Moment Creativity Set and my precision brush. To begin, I'm gonna run my medium striping brush through the polish. As you can see, there's a bit of a bead at the end of the brush. And you just wanna pull it along your mat or nail or whatever area you're working on to help lengthen that out so that you create nice straight lines. I'm going to start by drawing a straight line down the middle and I'm gonna add a little tail and this is the stem for my leaf. You don't have to worry about it being not 100% straight or perfect or anything like that right now. This is just kind of your basic guideline. Next step, I'm gonna draw a line across the center. Now, you want it to be a little bit longer because your maple leaf is about the same height as it is width. And this is what I find makes it easiest for me, is I'm gonna draw two lines that meet at the center off to each side gives me a working guideline for where I'm gonna put those leaves. You will be filling this in. So like I say, it doesn't matter if things aren't 100%. Now for me, I put these little C's or U's or whatever you wanna call them. And that's kind of gonna show me where I'm gonna branch my leaves. Up at the top, I'm creating the point of my leaves kind of a pointed arrow, I guess, curvy pointed arrow. And I'm gonna connect it to those U's. Then I'm gonna go to the next stem and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, creating that pointed arrow top and connect it to the U. I'm gonna draw a curvy line and now I wanna go straight to the point. I'm gonna do that all over again on this side. Once again, going straight across from that little curve down to the bottom of the leaf. Now I'm actually gonna do an upside down U and this is gonna give me those little points. And I do round them out at the corner. So like I said, this is just our general kind of guideline. Now I'm gonna take my precision brush just cleaning up a little bit. I didn't like the, the tip there. And I'm gonna dip it in the Ladybug Rouge and I'm just gonna kind of fill in loosely with the color. I want it to kind of create a shadowing effect on the leaf. You don't need a lot of polish and this is a self-settling polish. So if you use too much, it will start to spread. Less is more. You can always go back and do another coat if you need. You will be outlining again as we go on, so don't worry about it if your lines are not 100% straight or perfect. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a complete cure. I've sped this up for time's sake. I'm using the deluxe lamp, so it's a 45 second cure, but we also have the 60 second lamp. Now I'm gonna take my striping brush and I'm gonna go and outline everything. Now this is where you wanna be really more concerned because you want your lines to be nice and sharp. This is gonna be your, your final outline. This is also a great time that you can fix any little baubles or things that you didn't quite like the shape of the leaf. I find when I'm doing thin lines like this, like outlining, that it just is a patience thing. Take your time, working slow, less is more, making sure that if you do have that bead of polish on the tip of your brush, you take the time to drag it along to create a nice thin line. I really love the medium striping brush and the creativity set for this kind of work, especially the more you get to use it, the more comfortable you become with it and things like doing outlining or drawing with it sort of become second nature, kind of like using a pen or a pencil. I'm completely self-taught. I haven't taken any nail art classes. 
It's been mostly from watching other people's nail videos, following people on Pinterest and YouTube, and that's kind of where I've learned all of my technique and picked it up from. And then, of course, practicing as I go and kind of trying new things. This is probably the fourth or fifth time I've tried to do a maple leaf and finally found something that works with me. So just finding your own little niche is the way to go. Now we're going to go in and draw some detail on our leaf. We're going to draw the veining of that leaf in there. So I did the line across the bottom, one through the center, and then the two on the side. And that's pretty much my final maple leaf. I'm going to do a final complete cure, 45 seconds. And that's the completed leaf. I did go ahead on my actual manicure and top it with clearly frisky, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And this is what my final manicure looked like. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.